um, our vacation was good. So first what we did was, um, well, we had to drive there. It took us about like Can 8 to 12 hours to Mama. get there. So it was kind of bumpy. And, uh, and Mama kept asking Daddy to drive. Because like, yeah. And, and after that, once we reached there, one room was when we went to the Buffalo Lounge. One of the rooms in the Buffalo Round where we were staying where it was like it was had a leak and it was dripping water everywhere and, and yeah. So they didn't let so then Daddy had to make a few calls and arrangements and then they finally came in and gave us good things and all that. And then uh, I don't know how we like and so then I don't know how we did like the rest of the night. But I remember eating Maggie and having a pillow fight with Nikki and Srinika. And apparently, apparently, I like, I think I won because I got the winning pillow, basically. But then everybody wrestled it out of my hands, even though I got it first. And I hid everyone's pillows after that, so they just had to get more. And then we went to bed. I slept on one edge and Nikki slept in the middle and then Trinika slept on the other edge. And so then I read some of my Harry Potter books and then I fell asleep. Oh, and then and then the next day what we did was we started driving to that mountain and it was called Pike's Peak. I think it was actually a region. It's it's like a region basically where mountains are, I guess. So um, we went up there. And so when we stopped at like the ticket council person area th booth thing, they allowed us to go up to the weary top because Nikki had a car seat. I still don't get it how if you, if you have a child on a car seat, you get to go up there. Like, what if you have like no children are there and like you know, everybody's an adult? So I didn't understand how that worked, but either way we went up. So it was a very long ride and the view was very good and beautiful when we went up there. And it was kind of a road, though there were not many rails for safety issues, so that's bad. And and then and then we re and then we started seeing snow. Like we like we were very high and we saw snow, and so we stopped a little bit, and there was this big area with a lot of snow, except for the patches where the trees were, because, like, the trees were filled with snow, but they didn't, like, really drop any snow down there. We got in a big, like, snowball fight, and so then I got hit a lot, and my jeans got wet, and, and it was very cold and funny <laughs> because I kept slipping and Nikita kept laughing at me. And then we went down and so then I literally slipped on my way coming down and I fell and then I finally reached and went inside the car and changed my pants when we got back to the hotel. <laughs> what next? Okay, but we also, but on the trip we also reached the very top except we couldn't go all the way up there because it was so cold we were at an altitude of 13 thousand like yeah 13,500 feet and then we returned back it was so cold i didn't even get out once but when i did but i did get off once to take a picture but i didn't wear shoes and i wore socks <laughs> but no one noticed except daddy and everyone else okay and we returned back to the hotel where I had to change my pants because <laughs> they were so wet and then we slept well actually no we went to the gar gardens of gods actually so we slept for a little and I had dinner I think it was that little little Napoleon and it was a buffet I guess there was naan, 
but I couldn't find the perfect paneer butter masala so I just had to eat it with something I do not know which didn't taste as well and I was very sleepy and the hotel was very quiet but you went to the garden of gods what happened yeah. there so we went to the garden of gods over there at the garden of gods well we first have to get like um i think it was free admission so we didn't get any tickets and then we had to just and then after that we got to go see some rocks they're really cool rocks there's also a museum that went along with the rocks i think and so then we went and looked a lot we took many pictures one in front of the sign of garden of god is pretty cool and all that and we looked at some rocks and then we climbed a little and i guess that was it i guess yeah then we went back home we went to like um santo shankar's room which was what happened on the next day oh uh, oh okay all right the next day when we slept and got well dressed i guess yeah we were wearing like the same thing except something else but either way we went there tomorrow yeah the day after and so then we went first i think it was to a big gorge like a canyon and we got to first we were going into admission there's this this guy who was like Oh, do you like Harry Potter? Because I was wearing my Harry Potter cap. And I was like, yeah. And I was like, what house? And then he also read Harry Potter, so we made, so we became friends, basically. And then he gave me one of those things, like those badges, which became my souvenir now. And then, and then, after we got out, there's this big clock, which was made by water, basically, because it was running by water. So one part of this was taking water and moving all the, told you exactly what day, time, year and month and what day of the week it was and it was pretty cool. You got to take a picture in front of it. And my mom got two tickets to see it whenever she wanted. So we were on the north side, so that was the one where we took the tram, I think. It was called a tram. I don't know what it's called, but it was basically one of those uh, things where we like sit in ca cable ca yeah cable cars then we go across all the way through the gorge it's pretty cool so we stood in line i really wanted to go on the zip line but mama chickened out and and then like it was actually on the south side and so we could only do like the cable cars so we went on the cable cars and then and then so when we were on the cable cars, the view was really good. Daddy was taking a video, but Mama was trying to jump and stand and do all those funny tricks. But then I was like, then then everybody was like, sit down, <laughs> and and Mama got annoyed, so she sat down. And then it was really cool. We got to see the river where it was, and I think it was pretty awesome. And but that but it did kind of make some sound and the glass was kind of dirty a little, but it was still very cool. And I got to sit on one of those sides where the windows were, so I got the one of the best views. And um, then we got down finally, and we were actually at the south side. So it took us about like about two minutes for the ride to, for all the way to get there. So yeah, and so then where we, and so then we were on the south side, and so then we saw a carousel in the park basically there. So we started playing. There's this big park. So first I started to climb a big tower, but then I got off because I got bored. So we were never ending basically. Except for that part, and when you reach the top, you could go through. But I never got time to do it. Then I tried out all the slides. They're pretty cool. And then I saw, and then there was this big area where there was like one of those uh, things where you could stand there and you could look down. It was pretty cool. Even Sanvi got to go there. She had a lot of fun. 
But bridge. Then, you mean bridge? No, not the bridge. I'm I'm talking about like the like where we went up there and Sandy was standing. And remember how I got scared? How she would fall because there were holes and they were like the perfectly the large size that Sandy's feet could go through them. So it's pretty. So I was pretty amazed how we made that and how this was so unsafe. So then we went down the slide. So Shrinika went first, Sanvi went next, I went third, and Nikki went fourth. And yeah. So then we had to go ride a carousel. Turns out Sanvi actually likes horses, but she says posty for some reason. And we were out in the carousel, and it was like kind of slow. And so then after that, we went to this train area, and then we saw a train. Sandy really, Sandy went on it and rang the bell for, I don't know, for unknown reasons. Cause she's a baby probably, but either way. And so then after we went there, we got off and went on the bridge. I really wanted some cotton candy, and it was a least costing thing, but Nikki bought ice little snow cones, and they didn't have, they didn't give us plain ice on it. I don't know why, but some for some reason I just like I like chomping on plain ice. I don't like snow cones. I just don't like the flavors, you know. Like I like ice and the snow and stuff like that, and I like to eat it for some reason. But I don't like the flavors because that's ruining pure snow. But either way, I still didn't get to eat because no one would share their spoon. And mom and mama had to get off the bridge and go back to the stand and get just just to get a spoon. And no one saved her any time. And she also got her own spoon. And I'm the only one who shared their spoon, so I'm a nice person. But then Nikki, but then Sanvi snatched the bowl and started eating it all for herself. So Nikki didn't get any. <laughs> and then Denise stole it. Anyway, we were on the bridge. There was a lot of flags of all the 50 states of um, America. And so then, and so I took a lot of pictures with Daddy's cameras, camera, and I was explaining Shinika how the Grand Canyon was bigger because I told her we couldn't see like the lake and the lake was really huge because like back and 200 years ago when people were coming to like immigrating and all that and you know like uh, Columbus and all of that they searched like the Grand Canyon and they looked down and they thought it was a street but in real life the Grand Canyon is like really big like think of a train like a really long train like those trains that are used for long distance to carry uh, supplies yeah, that's how big so it What was. happened next? Where did we go next? So after we got off the bridge, we then went to Seven Falls. I got a map, but I was kind of being stingy and didn't share with everybody else. So in the end, the map got taken away from me. We got to also, but then I forced the map back to my hands. And then we got a tram, like one of those. And then I stole it. Not. Yes, we got to see the three amigos and all those good, cool rock formation. There's also this rock formation called Hercules's Pillars, which actually did not look like its name at all. And usually they're by their names, so I did not understand that. When we find we got to this 1918 restaurant, we took this way, and so first on that we went to the waterfall. And after the and on the waterfall, I actually learned it's called Seven Falls because the waterfall is split into seven parts. And I went up, and then we had to climb two hundred and forty something. I think it was two hundred and forty stairs. The stairs were kind of improperly placed, so we had to. So we had to, what, tread carefully. 
it was pretty high and it was kind of dangerous because it didn't tell us to, to go there and so after we got up so when we got up up here we ha it was very long Nikita she climbed up until we went to like the when we were almost there Nikita was like two steps before the closing so I went climbed those two steps and became the first person I was the first person actually by two steps Nikki by two steps anyway so when we get went up there daddy actually stayed down there and we got to go up all the way to the base of the waterfall though mama didn't let us go any further because it was doing warning danger things because it's really dangerous up there like water was splashing all over us and so then we went all the way down we had to be very careful and mama and nikita started counting the steps and, and, I, I, and I silently started counting steps as well then we finally got and down. And then Daddy counted steps? Daddy didn't count steps. He was just taking pictures the whole time. Yeah. When I was coming down, I also noticed these things, which were like lights. So that's probably for when people come when it's dark. They can see the light. They can see like uh, the waterfall in different colors. Like the things that were lit and it was like that. Yeah. And so we got down. We headed to this place where there were a lot of rocking chairs and we got to rock and I'll do that. Rock. On rocking chairs. <laughs> yeah, and that'd be the commercial. No, no <laughs> commercials. Okay, and then, and then after that, that was, well after that, then Santo's uncle came from the eagle's nest. Yeah, that's what like that place was called. The Eagle's Nest. Shh. Commercial break. Yeah. So what happened? We came back. So uh... We came back and then Santosh Uncle and Shinika went started climbing up the stairs. But then Rinky Auntie also wanted to go. So we got to babysit Sanvi and she ate a lot of healthy rum. So and I she gave you water. No, I fed her water, basically, and then she's like this, and I was like, yeah, and she gave me all day out. And then baby I'll... gave me all day out for free by babysitting. Nikki, be quiet. Ah, <coughs> commercial break. <laughs> Hi, Nikki. Hi. Okay. And after that was done. And after that was done, Rinky Auntie was kind of scared what the baby was thinking. And but she asked us if the baby cried, if Sandy cried. But then she doesn't, so that was all right. But then we went up to the eagle's nest. We took an elevator this time <laughs> because elevators and elevators are quicker, basically. So we took the elevator, and with that elevator, we went all the way up. We actually got to a cave, which was naturally made, but Mama said it was man-made, and I told her if it was man-made, then it wouldn't be that dirty and stinky and slimy and natural looking. Okay, so after that day was good, so after that, next day we drove back. We drove back. When we drove back, it was kind of hot and very humid. It was pretty lousy. We didn't really do anything. And it was long. And it was long. 